Hi, I'm Bacon Strip 64 and I'm a fan uh, on CM Near's Minecraft server. Hi, I'm Jurassic Deal and because I've also done some videos myself with him in it. Also, um, on a Minecraft server as well. I'm <laughs> Dan from Minecraft server. I'm Ninja Nacho. I'm from the CM Near's Minecraft server. <laughs> and I'm Plasma Napkin, and today I'm going to show you how to do a glitch of mine on the Plasma Galaxy glitch. Now, we're on Spire for a reason. You can only do this on Spire and Boneyard, because this glitch requires a certain exists on those maps, which is the shield wall. The one-way shield does not work, neither does any other kind of shield. It's the shield wall. So, why only this object? This object is unique in a way that when you shoot it with bullets um, at an end, uh, that you shoot when you shoot bullets at it at an angle, these bullets will slow down, and um, it will repel them perpendicular to it. And um, now, the weapons we're going to use are the plasma repeater and the plasma pistol. It only works with those weapons. What's special about them is these bullets disappear after they have traveled a certain distance. So when these bullets go really, really slow, what is going to happen? It will take them a really, really long time to disappear. Like, hours and hours if they're slow enough. Or even longer. Days. I don't know. I've never tested it. But, um... The uh, triangle is the perfect shape for this, because when you shoot at a triangle, the, uh, they're going to bounce off perfectly uh, towards the next one, which will slow it down even more. If you do it with a box, for example, when they are uh, repelled at almost the same angle that they came towards it, the, they're not going to slow down as much, so it will take ages to do this glitch with a box. That's why we use a triangle. The next glitch I'm going to show you is called Paradoxing. I found it about a year ago while messing around on Powerhouse with a friend of mine, AHP Wombat. We were both trying a ghost jump at the same time and it just happened to happen. So I was quite confused after that and I messed around with it for quite a few hours and I figured out how it works. All you gotta do is just line up and you'll have a person in the back and a person in the front and the person in the back is going to start running. You can jump over the person in the front's head and as soon as he or she reaches the wall, where you're going to do the paradoxing, or corner, corner makes it easier, um, you're going to start jumping. Now, the person on the front is going to time it, so he's going to start running right when the person in the back is behind him. So just before the dots merge on the radar, we'll need a radar for this, or it makes it much easier, you're going to start running forward and start jumping as soon as you reach the wall. Now, on both person screens, you're going to be in front of the other one, but you're actually, well, you're both in front of each other, so you can fly. And while we're at it, why not show you another glitch? This one I didn't find, but it was a small part of discovering it. I, uh, I happened to do it, and I showed it to a friend of mine, Eklov. Uh, this was in the very, very first days of Reach, by the way and he just figured ev out everything about it. Um, here's how it works. What you do is you jump, or you don't have to jump, but that's what you generally do, and you crouch in midair, and you land crouched. You just have to land crouched. That's the important part about this. You can just drop down from somewhere crouched, or do whatever. You just have to land crouched. You can't start crouching on the ground. Now, after you land crouched, what you do is you can walk around, do whatever you want, and then you let go of crouch and jump at basically the exact same time. You'll, it will probably take you a while to figure out the timing, but you'll get it after a while. And this gives you quite a boot boost in height. So there's a lot of tactical jumps that you can do with it.